Hey, it's Big T. I uh, thought I would put together a fly I've had some pretty good success with lately today. It's a olive peacock quilled nymph. What I'm going to do is start with some ADOT uni black thread on a Big T size 16 jig hook with a 3.0 millimeter bead. And we're going to go ahead and put a thread base in. Uh, for the tail, I'm going to use a dark speckled Cock de Leon feather. And I'm going to pull off somewhere in the neighborhood of, I'd say, four or five fibers. You're going to line these up. Pull them away from the rest of the feathers so that they come up, come out with the tips lined together. Tie that in at the back. I like to make a couple of loose wraps and then just adjust accordingly. Some people get real picky, like Scott Brown about. Uh, the exact length of the tails. I can tell you from my experience the fish don't really notice if it's exactly half a shank, three quarters of a shank, etc. So I eyeball it. We'll build up a little bit of a thread base and tapered body. This is a pretty sleek fly so it should sink quickly. One thing you can do also is if you want that tail to splay take a loose wrap underneath. Sometimes that'll draw that out. The next thing I'm going to do is take what I've done here is I've taken a peacock eye and in order to strip it what I like to do is put it in a solution of 50-50 bleach and water in a mason jar and I'll do several of these at a time. You've got to have a real delicate balance as far as how long you shake it to make sure you're removing the fibers but not bleaching out that uh, eye so much that it becomes really brittle. And then what I've done is I've taken it and I've dyed it with some olive dye and olive green. And I'm going to tie that in. That sounds like a lot of work to you. I do sell those on my website. Um, and then I am going to wrap that. Sometimes as hard as we try, we just can't replicate some of the stuff that God has created in nature and one of those things to me is the segmentation that these peacock quills give it just has a really good transition from light color to dark color and we're going to wrap that up and come over and tie that down. If you've got a space like this does up close to the bead, don't worry about that because you're going to be adding a dubbed collar to this fly. Tie that in real well. I'm going to actually apply at this point a little bit of UV. This is Loon's clear fly finish. This is a real super thin UV material. You can find some thicker things. I like this if I'm just trying to give something a coating, add to the durability. That also makes the segmentation of the fly pop a little bit more. And then we're going to add some 
hairline UV olive eye stubbing and we're not going to be too generous with that we'll create a collar there and I like to actually put a pretty good thread base down after that and create almost a hot spot with the black thread because I think it gives a great transition from in this case a black nickel bead to the black thread to the collar. Whip finish and that takes care of that fly. There's an olive quilled nymph. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already at uh, Big T Fly Fishing.